congratulations for Limerence. Where did the original idea came from? Uh, Limerence actually started as a play that I wrote, uh, and the play started as a monologue. Um, I was in a class with Chris Messina, who um, suggested that we explore relationships, and I wrote this monologue, and the rest is kind of history. So when did it come to the decision that you would make this your directorial debut? You know, that came while we were adapting the play um, into a screenplay, and we were actually meeting with directors originally, and it became clear to myself and Brad Zions, who's my producing partner, that I should direct it, and um, it was the right decision. Yeah? yeah oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> Talk about your cast. My I cast, mean, uh, dream cast. Yeah. So Matthew Del Negro, who plays Tom, is fabulous and funny and one of the best actors I know. Great to work with and um, really brings layers and depth to Tom that I, I don't know. I couldn't have asked for a better Tom. Jennifer Lafleur, who plays May, is wonderful and um, has more heart than any actress that I know. Billy Aaron Brown, who also happens to be my real life best friend, uh -huh. is plays my best friend in the movie, and he's funny and weird and unpredictable. Um, Evan Arnold is also fantastic. You never know what he's going to say. They're, these guys are just killer. Talk about uh, the. You, you have to develop a romantic chemistry with Matt. Talk about that. Yeah. Well, we were lucky because we met about a year before we started shooting. So we had a. Um, we were working on the script and making Tom really him. So by the time we got to shooting, we had a real trust and friendship, and we both liked to goof around. Um, and so we just kind of slipped right into our roles. It was really, it was awesome. But you have to go for it, you know. Otherwise, I don't know. You have to really find that true connection. I think um, we had a good time. You had to wear so many hats for this film. What was the most difficult thing you had to do? Um, I think remembering where I left my clothes. <laughs> no, um, a little bit. My, I think it was um, balancing working so quickly and under so much pressure and it being my first time directing um, and really you know these guys were great they trusted me which was kind of amazing you know it's your first time doing something and um, I think there were most days I was acting and directing but on the the days where I was just directing it was a big switch for everybody <laughs> tell me the truth how how was it directing yourself I'm really hard to work with. No, um, <laughs> um, it was cool. You know, you there's a distance that you have to have. And I watched some playback, but oftentimes I felt like if we got it, I knew it. I just, you know, and I would check in with um, my producing partner and my assistant and our DP to be like, did that work? And when we all kind of agreed, we would move on. But in the editing room, I would often yell at myself on the screen and be like, why did she do that? And then yeah. I'm like, wait, it's me. <laughs> And just to wrap it up, you have upcoming projects after Limerus. Yes, I'm actually about to direct another film at the end of the month with uh, Chloe Weaver, who is my DP on Limerus. We're working together again, and Brad and I are developing a new series, a comedy, so we're really excited about that for next year. Exciting times. Hey, thank you for, for the movie. It's, sure. it's, it's, very, it's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.